All right, we are back. And what we've got so far is this weird login thing on the left. And in this video, we're gonna lay out the right side and get it ready for when we start adding some functionality. Functionality meaning like displaying the, the tweets, the meows, as we're gonna call them. So, uh, so let's get going here. So on the right side, let's uh, let's put some fake ones. Let's, let's say, uh, hello, I flipped over a cup. This is like cats supposed to be like tweeting it, so it's supposed to be like kind of funny. You're supposed to laugh. So another one is uh, my owner just said hi. Oops, said hi to me. Yum. Maybe another one is hard man i'm really not good at like creative text like this so what do cats do they like to run around i i ran around the house today and made a mess one more it's gonna put two line breaks if i put one line break it'll just be like one big paragraph and you don't want that you want some spacing so um so another thing cats do is they climb on top of things. So um, just climbing around. I'll just leave it like that. So save that. Oops. Oops. Much easier. Save it. And then refresh. Okay. So this is our site. Obviously, it's way better than Twitter already. Um, but now we're just going to style it for fun. So since we got Bootstrap loaded, I don't know if you remember, we put in Bootstrap. It does some awesome things. So actually, instead of BRs, I'm going to put some paragraph tags. Like in Sublime, what you can do is you could type open caret P and then hit tab. And it like does it, the open and ending tag for you. So just in case you didn't know. Let's just see how this looks real quick. I'm going to cut that, put it in there, save it. And then refresh. Okay, I thought I styled it. There's some styling stuff in Bootstrap. In fact, let's take a look at that. Bootstrap. Um, text styles. So I usually Google things to get to the to the correct docs. Even though I could probably like search inside the docs. I never like search inside docs. I always like search on Google. It's the it's the king. So let's see, take a look at typography. So you got some cool things you could do with the headings, H1s through H6, body copy. Um, it's automatically um, styled. If I put P class equals lead, okay, it, it makes it bigger. Um, I don't really want to do that. Is there something in between? I guess not. So let's let's stick with the H1s then. I kind of like this how these look. Let's try H3. So instead of a P, I'm going to do H3. Let's see how this looks. This is how I do a lot of my development. I just kind of like test things and, uh, okay, that looks nice. So let's do that for all these. Let me just copy this. Lots of copy pasting, lots of experimenting. That's how I've gotten to this point. X, control V, and control X, V, control X. Control V, and let me just delete these guys. Save. Let's bring it back. Refresh. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. So, are these separate tweets or the same tweet? And it's hard to tell right now, right? So let's uh, let's put some boxes around them. Let's say H three class equals. Oops. H three class equals. Yeah, we're gonna call them. So that's our word for tweets in our in our mittens world. I'm going to make a class. So I'm going to say border 1px solid black. So that's the width, the type, solid or, or dotted, and then thirdly, the color. I stick with black. But you could also do like uh, hex colors. You can Google like hexadecimal if you want to learn these, if you don't know them. Um, so I could do like three, 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 which is like close to black, but a little bit, oops, a little bit off. So we can refresh that, and there we go. We have a little little box around it. 
Um, instead of copying and pasting class to all these H3s, what I can do is I could just put, I can do, I think I can do this, feed. And instead of, I'm just going to get rid of that. I'm going to say any, any H3 inside within this feed class, because this div encapsulates this whole thing here, all the way down to line 43 here. It encapsulates everything. So anything inside the feed, I can style using the CSS. So I can get rid of that. Keep it super clean and just say any feed item, any H3 with inside this feed will have this border. So let's make sure this works. There you go. So now we can apply styling without having to copy paste a million times. So let's add some padding. Um, if I say padding 20 PX, it should add 20 to the top, the bottom, the left, the right. Because I could also say uh, padding left 20 PX, 20, padding right 30 PX if I want to add different padding. So this should make it more padded. Oops. Okay. So now it's starting to look like something. Um, I believe Bootstrap comes with some icons we could use to add some spice. Let's see, Bootstrap, oops, Bootstrap icons. Let's give it. Let's give it some character. Let's see what we got here. So Bootstrap comes with all these things we can throw in there. Um, something we can put a nice little um, maybe a hand right uh, something a little different here uh, maybe a user because it's going to be a user uh, posting it um, Let's just try that for now, just so we learn how to do that. So what I do is, so how do you do this? So when I look at a page like this, I usually scroll down to where they explain it. And there's usually some example code. And luckily they have that here. So I can actually copy this. Oops. Um, I can put one right here. So it's called Glyphicon, Glyphicon align left is the image oh, that's where it's aligned okay so glyphcon star will make a star for example a line left is this little image right here but we want to do a person so that's going to be this dude right here so let me copy that um this is right here glyphcon i already have glyphcon there so Glyphicon and then the name of the Glyphicon, Glyphicon user. And area hidden is, um, is for accessibility. So if you have a hearing impaired, or actually a sorry, seeing impaired person using the site, their area software will read off the site. But you don't want it to read off like weird symbols. So you just say area hidden equals true to make it not read it off. Let's see how this comes out. Fresh, okay, there you go, we got some action. So let's add this to all these guys. This one you do have to copy paste. You can't just style it. Actually, it's probably not true. CSS is pretty powerful. There's probably a way to do it. Someone please tell me. Boom. Okay, so we got this going. We got a little bit of a layout. Um, before we get into the JavaScript though, I do want to uh, get this really ready. So let's make it a little bit nicer. Mittens, okay, so mittens is all the way here on the left. Just to drive the point home, I really want to uh, get some styling into your head. So. Mittens is this uh, H1 over here. So let's call this H1 class equals page title. So let's style this page title. Page title. Um, let's say margin left. I just care about the left hand column. I don't want it to be sitting right on the edge of the screen like a like it's just like fall about to fall off the edge. Let's go to one PX margin left because we want it to line up with the with the box. Like it's gotta be like here. So let's line it up. Let's give it another, let's give it a hundred because we've got a hundred over here. So save that, refresh, there you go. You got a nice little little page going there. Uh, let's see if we could do something about this, uh, this line height here. I'm trying to remember what we can do about this. Actually, now that we have some tweets, 
But let's just say this. Um, border. Do we still need the border? No, we probably don't need the border anymore. I'm going to take that out, actually. I think it'll look cleaner. Always iterate. Always try to figure out what will make your page look nice and clean. So this login could use some styling. So let's do that. Let's try H2. H2 is the next one down from H1. So slash H2. Save that. Refresh. A little too big. Let me get rid of the colon too. I think it looks nicer without the colon. H3. H3 is a little bit smaller. And let's refresh. Oh, it's got the styling on it. Because <laughs> it's an H3, it's surrounded by the feed. So it's got, it's got that same styling as all these other guys. So let's try H4. A little bit smaller, but it's a sacrifice worth making. I don't feel like making another class. Okay, that'll work. And let's reduce this guy. We already have a BR automatically applied. And that's that. And one last thing I want to do before we move on is you got to organize yourself. So we're going to do some refactoring. Well, I don't know if it's called refactoring, but we're going to take all this styling and move it to a separate file just to keep our keep this separate. You always should separate your styling from your layout. Layout is the HTML file. The styling is the CSS file that we're about to make. And then lastly, the JavaScript, which is your functionality. You want to try to get that separate. So let's just, I'm going to copy all this stuff right here. And actually, I'm going to copy this whole tag and paste it. So I'm going to say, we're going to make another style sheet, text CSS, and we're going to put it right in the same folder. And it's going to be called style.css. And uh, let's make another file here. Let me copy all the styling. Make a new file, paste it, and I can do shift tab. If I highlight everything, do shift tab. I can change the indentation. If I do tab, it indents it, shift tab, unindents it. So control S to save it. Now let's call it style.css, boom. And let me get rid of all this now that I've moved it out. Note that I don't need the style tags in this extra file. I just put the actual styling. Boom. There you go. It's still everything's still styled, even though I moved it all out. So, just a little intro to getting organized and uh, getting ready for the next step. So let's get uh, let's get going. See you later.